You're watching Rejo TV, the Overstrands online TV station. In this week's show, our local economy is going to take months, if not years, to recover, and the worst is probably yet to come. But there are promising green shoots everywhere. The sudden announcement that a new technical high school for the Overberg is to be built in Sandby caught many residents unawares and led to a somewhat heated debate on social media. Deputy Mayor Alnora Gillian said this week that mistakes were made, but that residents will get the opportunity to raise their concerns. Then we show you another of the region's hidden gems. But first, some good news. When we started Regio TV just more than two months ago, we didn't expect too much. It was slap bang in the middle of lockdown and the outlook was pretty grim. The reaction has been unbelievable. We are now reaching more than 20,000 people weekly and it has gone up to as many as 50,000 in some weeks. People want good content and they love video. During the past week we concluded an important deal. We have partnered with Aptileda Marketing from Amanis to produce video adverts for local businesses. This means any local business can now commission their own video ad. We are revolutionizing local community media. Advertising adverts. News this week that the Overstrand municipality has sold a 2.6 hectare plot in Sandby to the Provincial Department of Public Works for a new technical school in the Overberg had some Sandby residents openly questioning the decision. The technical school um, in Sandby is very positive. In Amarnus, the Overstrand and even Overberg region, we don't have such a facility. And I believe that it will be a big positive in our area and it will also create opportunities for those kids that will be you know um, in that school to be entrepreneurs at the end of the day also secondly that ground is already zoned as school ground the 2.6 hectares in long street were already say four or five years ago were already identified for a public or any other school. So in June we were approached our administration by our provincial department of education and transport and unfortunately there was miscommunication between our administration and the ward councillor and we're very sorry for that. But now from my side as the head of the portfolio I actually ask our administration to put this right with the residents of Sunbay because everyone's viewpoint is important for us. We must listen to our residents. So we have to arrange a meeting with the province and, and their departments that's involved with this project so that we can put at ease the Sunbay residents that this project is to the benefit of not only Overstrand but the whole region and even the Sunbay residents. So their questions um, that they have, I feel it must be like in a public participation process where we go to the community and answer them. Our economy might be broken, but there are also positive signs of recovery in important sectors. These include the property sector. I think it's been a very positive time for the property market and minus. We've had, obviously we've had uh, pent up demand with the fact that the deeds office has been closed since March until June. Uh, a lot of buyers couldn't come in through and come by as they would have wanted to. We also have the added benefit that people are working from home more often and they are seeing the advantages of coming to smaller towns where they don't need to go to the cities and the offices anymore. The massive benefit to us has also been the, the reduction in the interest rate that's made a big difference to, to first time buyers and to all buyers actually on that on that side so our market on anything beneath the 3.5 million market has been exceptional for the last three months 
In the meantime, the Western Cape is this weekend launching an extensive media campaign to attract domestic tourists to the region. The local hospitality industry say that weekends are already busy and that they are optimistic about the December holiday season. That's from the 7th of August. 7th of August the morning we had a Hermanus' open market campaign and um, that morning we got very good news because all our boats we got out. So our whale boat, shark catch, and it was a brilliant weekend. That weekend we were, I would say, when I got from stakeholders about 75% booked. Um, after that it was just a rollover every single weekend so far. Even <laughs> bad weather, it went down. However, what we've been picking up is that more people want houses, which tells me, freestanding houses, which tells me that we're looking at other groups or families that want to break away from, from the city, which is a good thing. Yo, I must say, gelukkig, things are now drastisch veranderd van het the Grindel Tijdperk geluk is, and van the interprovinciale. Uh, grenzen ook oop is, uh, lyk het fantastisch goed nou. Voor december maand weer Gerrit, is ons bykans by Holiday Skype in Kleinmond, Betty's Baai, Pringelbaai en Rooie Els. Bykans vol bespreek. Ons het nog net hier en daar een vakantiehuis beskikbaar. Uh, so dit lyk goed voor en toe en nou begin ons ook navraag kry waar ons niks gehad het die afgelopen paar maanden. Kry ons gemiddeld 5, 6, 7 navraag per dag van mense wat plek soek. Nie net vir december nie, maar nou vir gewone naweke in september, oktober en november ook. On Tuesday, the local liquor industry got an unexpected boost when a series of fake news posts on social media that the alcohol ban was about to be reinstated literally drove hundreds of residents to liquor. In Claymont, locals queued at local liquor outlets to stock up, just in case. Staff at Early Childhood Development or ECD centres across Overstrand last week took part in a peaceful protest against what seems another of government's harebrained schemes. While many ECDs are struggling to survive and thousands of jobs are at risk, the Minister of Social Development, Lindiwe Zulu, has apparently decided to spend 1.3 billion of her budget on hiring 36,000 unemployed youths to monitor COVID compliance at the centers. A few billion rand has been set for people to monitor ECDs, which has been used to be 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 used to to be used to be used to be used to be used to are you one of the millions on Facebook that have created an avatar for yourself? Have you perhaps wondered what is behind the sudden popularity of avatars? Well, of course, before you can get the avatar, Facebook needs some information about you. The color of your hair or the color of your eyes, for instance. Now, most people know social media is all about advertising revenue. So they provide the information knowing that they will probably be targeted with some kind of advertising. But industry experts have now suggested another possible motive behind the avatars. They say the avatars could possibly be linked to a project called Facebook Horizon, a whole new virtual world. Remember Second Life? A make-believe world in which you could date women, visit with friends, go to a mall and even buy property. We are now going to play you a video and I want you to look closely. Do those mountains in the background seem familiar? Yes, they do, don't they? And this beach? These are scenes from the TV series Black Sails a couple of years ago. It might look as though it was filmed somewhere in the Caribbean, but this was actually shot on Kleinmont's Palmeet Beach. Peter van Dijk of the Overberg Film Office says the industry could potentially earn us millions. Okay, just as an example, they were um, in South Africa for around three years and in the region in Kleinmund, uh, specifically the one week that I was on the crew, um, they spent around a million rand in one week, which 
uh, goes towards accommodation, um, food, uh, spending money they get per diems that they spend in town. Example, for example, if they want to order pizzas or going to the bars or um, buying stuff at Spy, when they live in South Catering um, yeah. establishments, most of the places was fully booked with the crew for that week. There's a website, there's a Facebook page, and what we're doing is that, we, of course, we're reaching out to the film industry for saying that we've got every single expert that you might need, we've got every possible scene that you might need, and then we've got all the assistance in that we have skippers, we've got paragliders, we've got adventure tour uh, guides that can assist as well. And then the, the, the part where the tourism hook really comes through strongly is when these filming happens here. It's not just about the filming, it's about the catering, it's about the accommodation, and it's about the crew staying here, appreciating the environment, and bringing their family, friends, back here, also spreading the news on social media about the wonderful destination where they are at, at that moment, and that is PR that money cannot buy. Here's Johannes Froenemann with his weekly look at the local newspapers. So as every week is there a good news, but also bad news in our current. Come and look at a few bad news stories and then come and look at the bad news stories. The one bad news story that my eye has been hit was in the Hermanus Times, the foreblad, Desperation is Palpable. Now, this is a story that is still very long with us. People live very, very hard and they are still for many months in these years where they live. En dit is aan die COVID-19 boven zwak economie. Dit is die situatie wat ons heet in Zuid-Afrika en ook in onze omgeving en ons moet maar helpen wat ons kan. Die andere slechte nieuws tweede wat ik net vinnig naar wil verwijs is bladzij 3 van die Times. Is een man schuldig aan 6 jaar gesen moord. Dit is een moord wat klompie jare gelede plaasgevind het. En hy het uiteindelik schuld beken en hy is daarvoor schuldig bevind. Wat my vooral opgevang het hierdie, uh, uh, opgeval het hierdie uh, week, is al die um, stories oor kunst. Dat is baie kunststories in, in, al, in al die korante. Ek blijf hier die Hermanus Times vir die oomlik, en daarin word gesels met uh, Trouwla Goosens, as die skrywer die van Betty's Baai, en sy sê, sê, hoe kan nou, um, sê het een nieuwe boek, Raisel C, wat, uh, wat beskikbaar is, of eerstdags beskikbaar is, en dit speel af hier in ons omgeving, en dan sê nog een boek, wat uh, uh, sterk Petty's baie achtergrond het en die sê sy lebe die uitgewe so uh, dit is iets om, om dokter en dan iets oor koots mense wat met koots werk, hier denk is heel wat mense in ons omgeving wat met, uh, met koot werk bezig is die overstrand herald het ook uh, ietsie wat my opgeval het oor die, uh, die mense wat met kunste bezig is, vooral hierdie ene en dit is dat Jack uh, de Priester sy nietste CD lokfilm wat beskikbaar is op, uh, op YouTube, is uh, dele daarvan is geskiet hier so uh, op Kleinmond, toe hy hier was, uh, vroeger van jaar, hy sê het baie lief vir, vir Kleinmond, hy, hy jak de priester, en uh, dit is iets wat jy kan kry in hierdie weeks uh, overstrand herald. Die village news het ook, soos gewoonlik, kunststories, ek blaai, uh, net vinnig, ek kom daar achter toe, en dit is op dat sy elf, Jeanette Paul, Stanford's Unstoppable Author. So daar is een lekker story oor een uh, auteur van, van Stanford. Ten slotte, die beste nieuwe story van my vir die, vir die hele week is die nieuwe school wat beplan word vir Sandpaai, een technische hoerskool, New School for Sand, Sandpaai, dis in die village news, en uh, die plan is dan om een uh, technische school daar te, te bou, Iets wat ons lang al nodig het in ons omgeving, iets wat die land nodig het, technische oorskole, dis wat ons nodig het, so ons is baie blij hier oor. Elsje van Wijk reports from Purley Beach that Minke Visser and her talented team have transformed the existing Fijnbos deck into a delightful restaurant and deli. There's even some fine dining on the menu. This was actually an up and running restaurant. So we bought it just a week before lockdown. We, wow. we cleaned the place and then we had to shut down. <laughs> yeah, now we're actually a deli shop and a restaurant. We do lunch, we do breakfast on the weekends, and now we are actually at the point that we might go on to dinner as well. This is our, uh, well, we call it our deli delight table. Uh, we bake our own breads, seed loaves. Uh, we have ciabattas, big and small ones. 
Uh, we bake our own cheese muffins, sweet muffins. We have pastis de nata. Our chef has some Greek roots, so we also have the baklava. Uh, we do croissants, pain au chocolat, almond croissants, and our famous brownies. And of course, um, to complement that, good coffee is, uh, well, maybe most important. Well, actually, for me, yes. So we have a beautiful uh, coffee machine. We have an uh, Italian family from Cape Town uh, who uh, supply us their beans. And everybody's bragging about it. So I actually sell them now also in the shop. Al gehoor van plaikies kraal. Die verlate gehuggie, diskant buffeljagsbaai, anderkant gaansbaai, word dikwels vergelijk met die bekende Koolmanskop in Namibie. Net soos by Koolmanskop, het die natuur ook hier oorgeneem. In die 80er jare het die destijdse streeksdiensteraad, hier by buffeljagsbaai, of dan buffeljagts, een strandoord vir die bruin inwoners van Elim en Bredaarsdorp gebouw. Ten volle toegeriste huisies met braai geriewe, net een klipgooi van die see. Al te saam 23 huisies is uiteindelijk gebou, is ook een ontvangsgebou vir die besoekers en twee huise vir die werkers. Die duine het echter met die tyd saam die oorhand gekry en die huise oorval. Vandag staan daar nog net mirasies. Om by plaatjieskraal uit te kom, het jy 4x4 nodig. Van die R43 vir by Pully Beach, tot jy by die buffeljags baie afdraai kom. As jy wil gaan kyk, Hou die natuur in gedachte en moet asjeblief nie die plek bemors nie. Laat het so achter dat ander dit ook kan geniet. We play out this week's program with Jak de Priester's latest video. Jak has a home in Kleinmont and absolutely loves it. The result was that some of the video was filmed there. As ek oor die strande loop, al loop ek sonne skoene met my voete kaal. Alles ek hier onder In die suidste punt van Afrika So lang God net weet En my een dag hier kom al En ek In die oceaan Tafelberg gedek Recht onder die maan Die walvis is al roep Die seemieu sal verstaan Dat ek met my kaal voete Op hierdie stukkie aarde staan 